So last night we heard from uh, some of the CEOs of some of the biggest and best companies in the world. Uh, it was a wonderful panel. I thought, I thought it was extraordinary. I learned a lot. As I was spending a little bit of time with uh, the guest speakers, preparing them a touch for what we do at C2FO so they could tailor their comments, we talked about the, the what we do and the how we do it and the why we do it, and we touched on our core beliefs, and our core beliefs are very simple. We believe that working capital is water for commerce. It's as important for those businesses as water is to biological life. We believe that everyone's account payable is someone else's account receivable. We believe that the system is, is broken today and that those that need capital aren't getting capital. And we believe that a network solution that can bring capital to those who need it at the price that is right in the most convenient fashion has the potential, and you see it in your book, to open up the floodgates of liquidity for businesses all around the world. So 10 years ago, we began building a marketplace that would eliminate credit risk by matching accounts payable with the corresponding accounts receivable so that that account payable could be paid early and the account receivable turned into cash. That's the what and the how. Eight years ago, that market opened for business. Today, we match over $2 trillion of accounts payable and accounts receivable for over 400,000 businesses around the world. But to me, maybe the most unique and powerful thing we've done is we've enabled our customers with a very powerful tool in that marketplace, a tool that allows them to name their price to be paid early by their customers with their AP. No one else in the world has done that, and hopefully no one else will do it, and we'll continue to be the only ones that have the capacity to do it. But then, but then after that's done, that's when the magic begins. Hundreds of thousands of offers daily from tens of thousands of businesses routed in our market so that we can find the right price that satisfies the holder of the account payable or the company with the account payable and the company with the account receivable. In so doing, we think we're eliminating credit risk. We think we're bringing things to light and to life that haven't been done before. Before C2FO, there was no scalable price mechanism for discovering the right costs for accounts receivable and accounts payable to be paid. Because we've done this fairly well, with your help and the help of our customers and our suppliers uh, and our friends and advisors, I stand before you to tell you that our compound quarterly growth rate since inception is 41%, which means that this last quarter was 124,262 times larger than your first quarter. So congratulations to that. It's now safe to say that not just, not just because of our numbers or because of what we say, but because the analysts say it and the, the numerous awards that you all have won, the company's been recognized, I think, now as, as the best in the world of what we do. Uh, let's make us the best in the world for the years to come and the biggest in the world of what we do. But you know, the what and the how were just descriptors. The most important thing we can ask ourselves is why. And the why of our company is because businesses need capital to grow. And they don't have access to it, either at the right price, or in the right way, or at the right time. Last year, the SBA put out a report talking about the costs of payment. And everyone in this room knows the problems in the macro that we have $43 trillion of accounts receivable on the books of businesses on any given day around the world, and only $3 trillion of capital trying to satisfy that, that need, in other words, to create liquidity for that $43 trillion. So there's a tremendous impedance, a tremendous mismatch. So the SBA did a study relative to the government paying their suppliers early and what that did for job creation. They created a formula 
that showed that those early payments or that access to capital created a certain number of jobs. That same formula, when applied to what we do at C2FO, said in 2017 that all of you in this room helped create over 41,000 jobs in 2017. We're doubling in volume every year. So if that formula still holds true, if those numbers are still right, that means that you in this room and what we do at C2FO, just in the United States, not, not across the globe, but just in the United States, will have created more than 80,000 jobs. The why of what we do is in the stories on our site from our suppliers. It's in the voices when they tell us on the phone what they're doing with their capital. It's in, in talks like this that I give when I know no one in the room and out of the blue people come to me and say, I use C2FO to expand my business, to be able to acquire inventory so that I could get into a new account, I could sell to a new buyer. I spoke last week to a conference in Kansas City 30% of the people in the room had used us. Two of them said they had used us to save their business because they couldn't get payroll or they didn't have the capital to get into this particular opportunity that was going to turn their business around. Right? There's nothing more powerful than those human stories. Right? 43 trillion is an abstract number. Shoot, 81,000 jobs is an abstract number, but the voice of a customer who says, I'm here because of you, that's the why of our company. Let's remember that. Let's remember that C2FO provides the capital to help companies grow, to hire, to drive, to, to go further, and to do more, and that you in this room are part of a very powerful movement to change the way companies access working capital so that they can grow to do everything they need to do to fulfill their dreams, just the way we're fulfilling our dreams at C2FO. They're just like us. Every supplier that's out there is just like us. They're growing. They want to do the right thing. They want to take care of their associates. They want to take care of their customers. They can't do it if they don't have capital. And we are that source of capital. That is the why of our company.